Hey guys, so I'm back, and this time I'm going to talk about something here. It's the Spark Fun capacitance meter. So, um, so I'm going to be doing a little review on it. And so, um, essentially, it's a kit that comes. I messed up, Baja. That's a that's my fault. That it's not what you're supposed to do in the kit. But um, yeah, here, see if we can get a little uh, rotating. Anyway, it's a kit that comes. And you put it together yourself with a soldering iron. And um, it's really great, so I'm going to show you it in action first, just to prove to you that uh, it works. So, one second here, I just got a little 12 volt AC adapter. We flip the switch on, and I'll turn off my little light here that I use. Cover my and we get 0.1A. I think A is supposed to be N for nanofarad, except they messed that up. But anyway, if we open my little beginner spark fun kit, you know, shameless plugs for spark fun, even though I don't work for spark fun, I don't work affiliated with spark fun in anything. Uh, okay, here we go. So using my last ceramic capacitor tutorial, 102 add two zeros, it should be one nanofarad. No add. So we plug it in here. And essentially, this is just the capa capacitor plus and minus here. Oh, and actually, I think this A is supposed to be P. So right here, we're getting 97, 98 P, or 100, um, 100, or sorry, 1 nanofarad. So if we take something else, say an electrolytic, you should make sure that you line up the plus of the electrolytic with the plus and the minus with the minus. So, one second, and I do that. holding it in. As you can see, it says 10.2 U for microfarads, and that is correct. This is indeed a 10 microfarad cap. So, now onto the review. It's got a nice little on-off switch, a regular DC plug, a pretty bright, bright display. The camera doesn't do it justice. Um, really nice. It's got three pins for plus and three pins for minus, and they're labeled. It's really great. It's got all the stuff, so you could easily just turn this not into a capacitance meter and just use it as a clock or something if you wanted to reprogram the firmware through an ISP port right there. So, right here, I have the little manual. Features, as it says, it comes with 1% accuracy. So we're going to test that. I have my Ampro multimeter here, and we're going to turn it to cap range. Oops. And there it's in nanofarads, so... We're going to relative that out. Okay. So now we're going to get that uh, 102 cap I did earlier. Actually, here, we'll get a 104 cap, okay? 104 cap is 100, and 100 nanofarads. Now let's test this with, and see with my uh, multimeter, which has a registered spec of... For four microfarads of plus 2.5 percent of one nanofarad resolution. So, ah, that'd be a bit. I just, I, I'm just gonna measure it right now with my hands and tell you what it says because it's gonna be pretty difficult to. Oh, sorry, this is really difficult um, to actually get done without getting straight body capacitance in there. Uh, one second, I'm just going to clip it on with alligator clips. Sorry for this huge weight right here in the middle. I don't like to do this, but it appears in this case I have to. Okay, it's clipped on here. 97.2. So that's pretty much spot on. I'd say that's... So accuracy, it gets a check. It does very well in accuracy. So the thing is accurate. Um, so for the other review stuff, um, that's really easy to use. You just plug in the cap, but it tells you there's no ranging you have to do. It's pretty accurate. It's really small, so you could... Put what you're supposed to do is put this in like an Altoids tin or something, put some uh, electrical tape on the backing, and connect the ground to the Altoids tin, and then just run the headers up outside the tin somewhere. And that way, or I'm not sure if you're supposed to run the headers outside the tin or not, but that way you get the most um, 
I'll just switch it off. Not waste power. That way you get the most uh, resol resolution. You can get this thing down to like um, one picofarad, I think. So it goes up to 500 microfarads, which is pretty reasonable, and down to one picofarad, which is great. Um, it's only thirteen dollars too. So if you really, do, if you don't have a capacitance meter in your multimeter, or if you just want a second one to double check, I highly recommend getting this thing. And if you want to get started with microcontrollers, it makes a great starting platform. So this thing really gets a thumbs up from me. Yeah, I cut myself opening a box. That's embarrassing. Anyway, um, so yeah, it does. Oh, here we should turn on the light. Get some more light in here. Oh, I'm trying to cast my shadow over it so it looks better. But anyway, it, it performs really well. The display is really nice and clear. Great for hacking. Um, has a switch here for on and off. Just a regular DC jack at the zero button. Um, really nice, easy to assemble. So I can't think of anything else I'd really do for it. Um, I could really say for this review. So, yeah, it gets a thumbs up in my mind. Um... So, yeah, really great, and it comes with a really nice sheet here that gives you the schematic and the parts list, so I just sort of highlighted them when I put them on so I didn't put any parts on twice or in the wrong spot. But anyway, great little cap meter if you need one or you want a second one to check. So don't forget to go to my website, quicklyclearscience.webs.com, where you can comment on these videos without having an account. All you have to do is put in your email and your name, and then you can comment. You don't need a YouTube account, and you don't need to count on my website. All of these new electronic science videos are on the website, as well as some bonus uh, content and a form, uh, as well as the code, so uh, any code on a microcontroller. This one doesn't count, though, but in the description for the YouTube video, I'll link the page to the actual SparkFun page where you can buy this. Anyway, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And actually, when I say don't forget, I mean don't remember. No, I, I feel like an idiot now. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, that was hilarious. Um, I'm going to laugh at myself for years now because of that. Okay, anyway, great, great cat meter. Bye.